Have you ever tried to use Steam Remote Play to play a Battle.net game through Steam, or have you tried to get the Steam Overlay working in your Battle.net games but you've had issues? Then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to do that and set it all up. This is how I've been playing games like Diablo 4 on my laptop that is 10, 12 years old. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with our Battle.net app and we're gonna change some of the settings. So you have to go up here, click the Battle.net menu, go to your settings. Now in here, uh, the first thing you wanna do is on startup, make sure you have it, uh, remember your login, email, and phone numbers and set it to keep you logged in. And me personally, so that it doesn't use a lot of extra resources, I have it set so when the game launches or when clicking X to close the window that Battle.net completely exits right here and right here. So after that, you can close that, and then you can close Battle.net, and we'll open up Steam. N now what you wanna do here is uh, add a new non-Steam game to your library, and there's two ways you can do that. You can go up to the top, games, um, and then add a non-Steam game to my library, or you can go down to the bottom left, add a game, and add a non-Steam game. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click that, select Battle.net right here. Don't don't select the game itself that you're looking for. Select Battle.net and then add. And that is going to go up here. So now that you've got Battle.net on your list, um, right click it and click properties. Uh, for today's example, I'm going to show you how to do Diablo 4. So we're going to click for me. I know that um, you, so you can change the uh, shortcut icon here instead of the Battle.net app. If I click here, go back to Program Files x86, Diablo 4, and I'll use the Diablo 4 Launcher EXE icon. And we will change this name to Diablo 4. And then what you're going to do is right here where the target is, you're going to click in this box, put a space back here, and then you want dash dash EXEC equals quote launch space and then you're gonna have to put a custom code in here based on what game you're wanting to play through Steam Remote Play or use the Steam Overlay with. So uh, I know the code for Diablo 4 and I'm gonna put all of these down below in the comments. I'll put it in a, a I'll put a link to the document that has all of these codes or I'll just make a pinned comment one of the two. You'll see it down below. Um, but I know what the code for Diablo 4 is fen and then we end our quote So you want dash dash exec equals quote launch space and then your code um, Diablo 3 for example is capital D and then a 3 but like I said I'll put those all down below and uh, If you want the steam overlay in game Here's where you want to be able to enable the steam overlay. So select that right there So now that we've got Diablo 4 in our list here uh, It's gonna show up in your library just kind of blank like this so what I would recommend you do, mine shows up in recent games because I've played it before, but if not, you can just scroll down in your library like this. And if you right click and go manage and then uh, set custom artwork, we can set custom artwork here. So a place I would recommend doing that from is uh, steamgriddb.com, just like this. We'll search in Diablo 4. Let's go with uh, this one. So I will download it, right click here, save image as. Um, I'll just save it in my downloads and then once that's there we can go back to Steam now like I said right click manage and go set custom artwork we'll choose the one we just downloaded and there you go now the game in your library has custom artwork now the next thing we're gonna do after this is we're gonna optimize some of our settings so uh, on your host computer you're gonna want to optimize on your host and your remote computer if you're using this for remote play so in your settings, go down to remote play. Make sure you have enable remote play on both of your devices. Now on your host device, which is the one you're gonna be streaming from, uh, you can enable advanced host options. This will allow you to have these extra options down here. And we don't want the audio on the host because if you're not gonna be sitting there playing, there's no reason for it to be making sound. Uh, you're gonna want the de change desktop resolution to match your streaming client. If you have a decent NVIDIA GPU, then you can use the NVFBC capture. I have a 4070 Ti, so I have that turned on, and uh, I also have enable hardware coding. So what this does is hardware encoding will use your GPU to encode, but if this is off, you're gonna use your CPU. And then you want um, your network traffic prioritized just so this connection is smoother. 
Now, if you're gonna go uh, play remotely, like so I play this on my laptop, 10 plus years old, like I said earlier, and on there I have enabled the advanced client options. So you go down here, you can play with the video and stereo options that you want, um, controller overlay, that's all personal preference, performance overlay. Now, bandwidth limit, um, I would set it as unlimited, which um, increases your latency, but if you don't have uh, bandwidth issues, I would set it as unlimited, or you can keep it as automatic, which is recommended. Frame rate, um, I just have mine set as automatic as well. That'll do what's best for your system. And same with your resolution, because this is what you're gonna want on your client. Now, I have an NVIDIA GPU in my laptop. It's not great because it's old, but I still have hardware decoding on. But because my device is older, I don't think it's capable of HEVC uh, or AV1. But if you do have a newer GPU, like a 4000 series and above, I believe can do HEVC and AV1. And I think the 3000 series can do HEVC, but not AV1. And then uh, if you have low latency networking on your client device as well, then that should help with making the connection smoother. So now I'll show you what would happen is uh, if I'm on my laptop, you need to have Steam open on both of your devices. So I've got Steam open down here. Say I'm upstairs on my laptop with Steam open as well. Um, and they're both enabled for remote play and logged into my account. Then I'll see the same games available. I can just click Diablo, play, and as you can see here, it's going to launch Battle.net. Sometimes on my laptop, what's going to happen is it'll either open Diablo automatically for you, or it's just going to open up the Battle.net window, and you'll see there, and then you can click play on Diablo, and it'll start playing on your remote device. All right, so that's everything. I hope you enjoy. I hope this tutorial helps you. Uh, I know I struggled for a bit getting my battle in the game store for remote play but if you have any questions or if you're having any issues post a comment down below or feel free to join our discord and message me i believe there's a link in my profile if not uh, i have it elsewhere but yeah feel free to comment down below if you need any help and uh good luck with it and i hope it helps peace